Hi guys and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. In today's video I do have to bring you some bad news and that is that Project Red has delayed the release of Cyberpunk 2077 yet again, taking the tally up to three times that this game has now been delayed and we're just going to take a look at some of the reasoning behind why they've done this and if there is anything to worry about going forward. But just before we get into today's video, if you are interested in more Cyberpunk 2077 content, I will be uploading plenty of videos come release, if we ever get there. It's going to include things like side quests and guides, so if you are interested, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And also, if you're looking to interact with other Cyberpunk and Project Red fans, I do have a Discord server for all things Cyberpunk, so yeah, that link will be in the description down below. And with that being said, let's get into today's Cyberpunk 2077 video. So yeah, Project Red have decided to delay Cyberpunk 2077 again. This will now be the third time of doing so. And now the new release date is December the 10th, so it's, it's only 21 days extra that we have to wait. But still, you know, it is a little bit concerning to say the least. We're going to take a look into some of the reasoning behind it and basically look at what Project Red is saying is behind the new delay. And he basically released a statement, as you can see on screen, now that obviously they decided to remove the release date of Cyberpunk 27 by 21 days, the new release date will be December 10th. They do say most likely that there are many emotions and questions in your head, so first and foremost, please accept our humble apologies. And basically they're suggesting that it's down to shipping in the current climate so the biggest challenge for them right now is the shipping of the game on current gen next gen and pc at the same time which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of it so that would be on xbox one and xbox one x compatibility on the new xbox series s and series x the ps4 ps pro the ps5 pc and stadia and because of the current climate, all the work they are doing is from home. And also they've got to take into consideration that the game will be evolved into a next-gen title somewhere down the line. So the extra 21 days is to make sure that everything works well and every version runs smoothly. They do also say that people may say 21 days might make not any difference, but to them it can make a massive difference. So we've obviously just got to take the word for that. But obviously they did say the last time they delayed this, it was something to do with obviously making sure all these kinks are working out. So they are using that same point again. And they go on to say some of you might be wondering what these words mean in light of a saying we achieved gold master some time ago. So the game passed certification or going gold means the game is ready and can be completed and all the content is in it but they go on to say it doesn't mean we stop working or raising the quality bar so they're going to take the extra time to make many improvements to make sure there is a day zero patch and the previous time scale was under calculated they do go on to say we feel we have an amazing game on our hands and are willing to make every decision even the hardest ones if it ultimately leads you to getting a video game that you fall in love with now a lot of fans will tell you you know nothing to worry about as long as we're getting a perfect game at the end of it you know they're gonna they're happy to wait and i get that it does make a lot of sense my only concern is that they've delayed this game now to make sure everything runs smoothly and that seems to be the running theme in this they've obviously suggested it's down to do with shipping but surely whenever it is actually released all those shipping arrangements are gonna have to be put in place for whatever day it comes out so I don't actually fully understand that. I am entitled to be leaning towards the making sure all the kinks are ironed out and obviously the game's running smoothly again. So there's obviously something there that I'm not happy with. The pessimist in me would say there's obviously some underlying issues, but then the optimist in me, which I really do have to be in these situations, is that the fact that we just have to wait for something that's going to be absolutely brilliant. And I do think there's nothing to worry about. I do think that this game is going to be unbelievable. You know, it was supposed to be out in April. It got postponed to September. And obviously now it's, you know, it's gone from 19th of November to the 10th of December. So do I have concerns? Maybe a few. But am I looking forward to playing the game December? Absolutely. I really do hope that Project Red are just being perfectionists at this point. And if that's the case, we're in for something very special. Now, if you did enjoy today's Cyberpunk 2077 video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There'll be plenty more Cyberpunk content going forward. As I said before, if you're looking to interact with other Cyberpunk fans, please do join the Discord. The link will be in the description. And until next time, take care.